Hey kids, this is Eric Miller. I just wanted to put together this quick little video uh, that's uh, kind of an, an addendum to a video I put out several years ago about bimetal ammo. Uh, my father uh, served two tours in Vietnam with the U.S. Navy, and the first tour that he uh, was on, uh, he spent in country with uh, what he described as a group of extremely trigger-happy Marines from the 3rd Marine Division. Now, of course, not don't mean that in a derogatory sense. They had very good reason to be trigger happy. Um, so I just thought I'd, uh, you know, show a couple of these kind of interesting things that he brought home um, in reference to our discussion on bimetal ammo. Okay, for starters, this has nothing to do with uh, bimetal ammo. I just think it's kind of cool. This is a, a 40 millimeter high explosive grenade case uh, that's been expended and then some guys there in Vietnam for whatever uh, fun reason thought that the case itself was just boring. So they made this weird, I don't know what it is, some sort of plastic epoxy something or other um, to put, it looks like they made it into a, <laughs> into a, like an egg case or something. Uh, anyway, so that it's, it doesn't, it's not just an empty case. It looks like an actual uh, 40 millimeter grenade. This case here is, of course, aluminum. Uh, I've got this crazy strong magnet that I got out of a hard drive somewhere, and you can see it's completely non-magnetic. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that because I think that's that's kind of cool. I think this is going to be of a, a little bit more interest to everyone. This is a 45 ACP round, of course, an expended case, um, and a bullet pulled out of a non-expended case and then jammed in here, and then a hole drilled through so you could wear it as a necklace. Um, the head stamp here says RA42, and I believe this means this was manufactured in 1942. Uh, the, I saw a similar uh, head stamp, but it said R.A42, and it was very clearly a brass case. This is not a brass case, um, which we can test right now with our special magnet. Oh, yes, this is very obviously a steel case. Um, so where was all this 45 coming from? Of course, uh, the guys in Vietnam would be armed with 45 caliber 1911 pistols. And also, my dad has some pictures of guys running around with uh, some grease guns, which were also 45 ACP. So uh, there was plenty of this floating around. What we're really interested in, of course, is the jacket on the bullet. Is it going to be attracted by this magnet? And, oh, yep, it is. It's totally uh, a bimetal jacket. So we got a steel case and we got a, a, a steel jacket underneath a copper jacket. So lastly and definitely not leastly, we've got ourselves a 50 cal here. Again, an expended case with a bullet pulled out from a non-expended case. Um, and the head stamp on this one says something like Cal 50 FA30. It's kind of hard to read. FA30. If anyone in the comments wants to tell us what that means, please go for it. So what we've got here is it looks to be a brass case and a copper jacketed bullet. But hey, let's double check just to make sure. Okay, so yes, the jacket is definitely brass. But what about our Ma Deuce bullet here? Oink. Oh, yes. It's definitely, <laughs> it's got some steel in there. <laughs> so we've got a bimetal jacket uh, on this 50 cal round also. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was just kind of a short little quickie weird thing I just wanted to share with you. Uh, I don't know, I just think that's it's kind of interesting. Bimetal ammo has been a lot more common historically than you probably thought. So just FYI, anything else new or interesting comes up, I'll let you know. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Have fun.